Hey all, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your very own Twitch text-to-speech channel point reward for your own Twitch channel. It is pretty straightforward but in this video we're going to do this together step by step. So before we do this together I just want to give you a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about. So I've already gone through all these steps here and added my own text-to-speech reward to my own Twitch channel. So I'm just going to minimize this browser here and here you will see I've brought forward my my own Twitch chat and I'm going to open up the redeem menu here and as you can see I have created a reward here called tell squeaky something funny so let's just try this out let's redeem it special agent squeaky taps on special agent squeaky's shoulder and says I wonder how your fur tastes like squeaky, woo woo. So as you see, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a basic reward here, but it is text to speech and it uses channel points. So in this video, we're going to go through and create our very own text to speech channel point reward together. Okay, so the first step we obviously need to do is to create our Twitch reward. So let's do that together. So let's head over to Twitch, then open up our create a dashboard up here and then to the left here we will open up viewer rewards and it goes without saying but you need to be at least an affiliate or partner to even access this so let's click on channel points then manage rewards and challenges down here you will see all the rewards you've created so let's create a new custom reward so the first thing we need to do here is to name this reward and you can name this whatever you want to. So in this example, I'm just going to give it tell squeaky a joke. However, it is very important that we remember this name because we're going to use that later when we're going to create the browser source. So put whatever description you want, it doesn't really matter. Also put in any amount you want. In this example, I'm just going to put 1000. However, it is really important that you enable require viewer to enter text because, well, the user needs to enter text in a text-to-speech reward, right? So how this reward works is that as soon as this reward is redeemed, the text-to-speech will be invoked. So we can actually disable this here, skip reward request queue. It is also a good idea to add some kind of a cooldown or limit to this text to speech reward because you obviously don't want to get spammed with multiple voices and if multiple people uh, redeem this voice you probably don't want to get spammed simultaneously. So it's probably a good idea to put on some kind of a cooldown or limit. However, in this example we're not going to do this because that will just be annoying. So let's create our reward here and that is basically the first step we need to do here. Okay, so let's head back to the website. So as usual, there is a link in the description beneath this video. And if you click on that link, you will come to this page. And this is basically the tool that will create our text to speech browser source for us. And it's on my website here, as you can see. So just click on that link and you will come to this page. So what we're going to do here basically is go through this together. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is to actually grant my web server the permission to listen to Twitch channel point redeems in your Twitch chat. So in order to do that, we need to generate something called an authorization code. And basically, we do that by clicking on this button here. Click here to grant permission. And as you can see, we get immediately redirected to Twitch. And it says here that Special Agent Squeaky's text-to-speech channel point reward wants to be able to view channel point custom rewards and their redemptions in your channel. So let's authorize this. And as you can see, we get redirected back to our website here, but this input is now filled out with this authorization code. So before continuing here, I just want to give you a quick comment. So we just granted my web server permission to listen to channel point redeems. So actually, if you go to your security settings here, let's open this up, settings and then go to connections here, you will actually see a list of third party websites you've given permission to. So let's refresh this. And as you can see here, 
Special Agent Squeaky's text-to-speech channel point reward. So this was just added one minute ago. So if you, for whatever reason, don't want my web server to continue to listen on uh, redeems in your stream, simply click on the disconnect button here and then yes, disconnect. Okay, so let's head back to the website. So this step is now done. Okay, so let's continue. The next thing we need to do here is to enter the reward name. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I said that you could put whatever reward name you wanted, but we need to remember it. So let's head back over to Twitch here. So it is basically this name here. So let's select this and copy it. And then over here, we're just going to paste it in here. So the reason why we need to paste this name here is so that my web server knows which reward is the text to speech reward. The next step we need to do here is to actually compose our text message. So you can have whatever message you want. So this is just the default one. And as you can see, it says dollar user taps on dollar channel's shoulder and says dollar message. So dollar channel, dollar user and dollar message will be replaced with the correct values when someone actually redeems this reward. So this is obviously your channel name. This is the user who redeems it and this is the message. But basically you can have whatever you want to here. So let's for fun change it in this example. So instead of user taps on channel's shoulder and says message, let's say dollar user tells squeaky the bad joke. And then I want to include the message here, message. So the next step will limit the number of characters that will be spoken. So by default, when someone redeems a reward, they can enter 500 characters. And for some people that might be too much and that will be a long text or spam. So if you're uncomfortable with having all 500 characters, just put this whatever. However, in this example, we're going to keep it at the max 500 because we want to listen on everything the user says. The next step here is to adjust the sound volume. So if you think that 100% is too loud, you can go down all the way to 10%. But in this example, we're going to keep it at 100. Okay, so the next step we need to do here is to select a voice we want to use. So the implementation I've done here uses something called Amazon Polly, and that supports a lot of languages in a lot of voices. So as you can see here, it's 70 voices over 10 languages, both male and female. So if you just open up this, you will see a lot of languages. For example, English, American, British, Australian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Polish, Danish, Dutch. Turkish, Romanian, Russian, Korean, and even Chinese. And I think even Japanese is up here as well. So pick whatever language you want and if it should be male or female. So we can actually test our voice here. So for example, let's go down to, um, I don't know, French, and let's take Leah. Dollar use it tell squeaky the bad joke, dollar message. So basically what this button here does is reading this message here. Dollar user tells squeaky the bad joke, dollar message. So as an example, let's take another language here. Let's take Japanese, even though it is in English up here. Dollar user tells squeaky the bad joke, dollar message. So obviously, as you can hear, that was Japanese dialect. But in this example, let's uh, keep it simple. Let's go with American. And let's take a Kimberly. Dollar user tells Squeaky the bad joke, dollar message. Awesome. Okay. So the final step here is that you need to provide with a super secret password. So if you don't know what a super secret password is, simply click on this button here and it will show you how to get it. So I'm just going to type it in here. And then we're going to create our browser source. Okay, great. So our browser source has now been created. So what we basically just need to do here is to copy this URL and add it as a browser source in OBS. So this works in both OBS Studio or if you want to use uh, Streamlabs OBS. So I've done a bunch of screenshots here, as you can see. So this is for OBS Studio. And down here are screenshots if you are using Streamlabs OBS. However, in this example here, we're going to use OBS Studio. So the first thing we need to do here is to copy this browser source URL and we can do that easily by just pressing this copy browser source URL. So it is now copied. So I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to open up my OBS studio. And in here, I'm going to over to sources and then I'm going to right click, add browser. 
And here I'm going to create a new browser source. So I'm just going to call this TTS and then press OK. And here I'm just going to paste in the URL here and press OK. So as you can see, we get this red box here and we can't obviously see anything because it is invincible, but everything should be working now. So if I just redeem this reward we created, tell Squeaky a joke. What is a cat's favorite color? It's purple. Special Agent Squeaky tells Squeaky the bad joke. What is a cat's favorite color? It's purple. That was an amazing joke. Okay, so let's head back to our website here now again. So this was a quick video guide on how you can create your very own text to speech channel point reward for your own Twitch channel. So as usual, if you thought that this video was useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you like the gaming content I do on my YouTube, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.